All right, another quick review. Uh, you might have seen some other videos on the Pentax Q10. Um, good thing about this camera is you could get little um, adapters so you could use uh, older uh, lenses on your camera. So I've got this adapter. Um, this is for old 8mm film. So what you'll do is you'll buy an old uh, movie camera it has like this. I bought this off eBay, fifteen dollars shift. But the funny thing is, it still works. It's pretty neat. So it had uh, this one had a couple lenses on it. Um, so when you're looking for these, you kind of want. Uh, they don't mention a lot in the description, but you want to kind of zoom in on the pictures that they do take of them, and then uh, you'll see this one. You see that it has does have an aperture. And does have focus here and a lot of times these are um, mentioned in inches instead of millimeters for feet so if you see this one it says uh, it's kind of close it says a uh, inch and a half or uh, 38 millimeters so that kind of helps you so this one's a 38 millimeter f 2.5 is as low as it goes so it has all these settings on there um, a lot of these cameras don't have that You'll just have a camera like this, and it'll have all fixed lenses on it, fixed in every way, uh, fixed focus, fixed uh, aperture, um, so you'll have to run back and forth, so really look for these instead. If um, You'll have to run back and forth to get focus. That's what this one is. This one actually has a, an aperture, but uh, there's no focus, so I'll have to run back and forth. To actually find focus this one right here is a uh, half inch 13 millimeter but uh, so I got basically two lenses in this old camera for $15 off eBay some so you have to look, kind of look around but you can find some deals like that um, on this particular one everything's uh, clear inside so we're good to go optically um, so all you do is uh, these are called a C mount adapter so I'm sorry, D mount. That's the correct one for these. Um, and then you, it just comes on like a regular, regular little mount after you screw it in there. And there you go. So that's what kind of what it looks like. Uh, another little adapter that I was going to show you that I got is a C mount adapter. This is for um, security cameras. So I got this. This one actually came in a kit. Uh, C adapter to PQ. A PQ mount is what that is on the Q cameras. Um, this one was a 25 millimeter f 1.4. And then uh, you, you notice it's like smooth, kind of declicked um, aperture there. So that um, works the same way. You screw it in. The cool thing about this one is it actually came with. It came with adapter, the lens, and then these little uh, macro extension tubes. So you can get some really cool, really uh, neat close-ups with that. Um, and it goes on just the exact same way. I'll try to put a link to this one in the description. I had to buy the, the adapter for this uh, movie camera lens was like $6 off eBay. So it was D-mount, I think, D-mount adapter, movie adapter. So, with the extension tubes, it goes on like that. Right up. On, on both of these lenses, um, the uh, aperture is out here on the outside, so I always catch myself trying to uh, adjust focus, and I end up adjusting the aperture. So the focus on these is in the back, and the, as you can see, that's another thing. Since this kind of screws in, a lot of times I'll, it'll start to unscrew the, the, the lens, so... A lot of times I'll just hold on to the front and then adjust the focus accordingly. Uh, as far as sharpness, these are fairly sharp. They're not the sharpest, but uh, they're really cool since you could get, like this kit right here was $25 and it came with the adapter, the macro uh, uh, tubes there, and the lens. So you get uh, get all this stuff really cheap. So uh, I'll put a link in the description for this one or something similar to it. Um, but uh, as far as setup on your camera, as far as is this concerned, let's see here. 
I can see here. I'll turn it on. It will. Uh, let me turn off one of these lights, and then we'll get a better. All right. So here it's uh, when you turn it on. It will ask you for the uh, focal length. This one was 25. So we'll just put that to 25. Um, so I'll turn it here. Well, it's not going to focus on that. But anyway, um, so the other thing to do when you put these on is you're going to need to, um, these are all manual focus, so you'll need to select something in here to help you better uh, get focus here. So under menu, I'd actually look in the, the manual for this. Under focus settings, there under the first thing, the camera, slip that over. And then down here you'll see uh, manual focus assist. You turn that on and... You'll go down to four, what I like to do, times four. So it'll help you uh, get that manual focus really sharp. Let me see if I can. There we go with the lens turn again. We'll get something here in focus. Sorry about that. Oh, I wonder. <laughs> I've got the the, the uh, rings on there. Forget about that. All right, I'm gonna take these off there. Since it's uh, you got these tubes on there, it's only gonna want to focus really close. I was like, why is it gonna focus? All right, so take those off. Screw this back on. And then attach this. All right, there we go. A little bit better. And uh, get some focus here. All right. So there we go. Uh, if you can see that, that's zoom in here a little bit. Let's see. All right. So since I've got that manual uh, focus assist on. You just hit OK and it zooms in times four there. Help you get that focus nice and good. Um, so when you take press the shutter button down, it will go back to the normal and you can take the picture. That's as easy as it is. Um, one thing about that manual assist I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna take this off there, turn the camera off, and then I'll put another lens on. It's just the standard kit lens. So, now notice um, I'm not going to hit anything. I'm just going to hit the actual focus ring on here. All of a sudden it goes to times four because you hit that focus ring. So that gets kind of annoying if you accidentally bump that when you're in autofocus. It's even when it's in autofocus, as you can see there. So um, you'll have to go back in here and turn it off if you put just a autofocus lens on. So now you're good to go. That's it. Uh, like I said, I'll put the links in the description. So I've got plenty of other videos, so uh, check them out. Um, two little cool lenses you can get for your Q camera. Alright, subscribe, check out my other videos. Thanks.